We are talking about trigonometry equations and identities lesson number six, sum and difference identities. Recall from the unit circle or the table here that we can find the exact values of the primary trig ratios of special angles. So the angle is like 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, and of course their equivalent radian measure. So we'll use many of these exact values when we're looking at the sum and difference identities. Taking a look at this statement, we have sine of one angle A plus another angle B. And we want to know, is that equal to the sine of the first angle plus sine of the second angle? Well, we are very familiar with some other formulas where we have a triangle and we're trying to find uh, the relationship between the sides of the triangle. We know that it's not just X plus Y is equal to the hypotenuse, right? We, we know that it's X squared plus Y squared that is equal to R squared. So we know that there is a different relationship than just the addition. So I wonder if it's the case here. Let's explore this by determining whether or not this is true for the first angle being 60 degrees and the second angle, angle B, being 30 degrees. So let's take a look. The left side here is going to be equal to sine of 60 degrees plus 30 degrees and that's going to be equal to sine of 90 degrees. Well, the sine of 90 degrees, you can see here 90 degrees, the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. And let's take a look at the right side. So the right side here, we have the sine of sine of 60 degrees plus the sine of 30 degrees. And we want to figure out if this is going to be equal. Let's take a look at 60 degrees. 60 degrees is there. And sine of 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. And then for 30 degrees, 30 degrees is here. And the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. So let's see what this equals. We have root 3 over 2 plus 1 half, which is equal to, well, we can't combine these two. So we'll just have to make it into that. And same denominator there. So this, we can see, even if we used our calculator, we would be able to determine that this is not equal to 1. And just to thoroughly convince you, then we'll just plug in this root 3, and then here plus 1. Well, we'll get that answer and then divide by 2, so divide by 2. And we can see that that is not equal to 1. It's not equal to 1, and therefore the left side does not equal the right side. It doesn't equal. So what can we say about the statement here that the sine of the first angle plus the second angle is equal to sine of A plus sine of B? Well, this is not true in capital letters. Let's take a look at part B and use exact values to verify these statements. We have a statement of sine of one angle plus another angle, and then on the right side we have this maybe at first strange pattern to us. So let's use our table. I'm gonna switch back and forth between this and my uh, chart here so that we can determine what the exact values are. So let's take a look at sine of 60 plus 30. Well, we know that that is equal to sine, sine of 90 degrees, okay, which we know is equal to one. And let's take a look at the right side here. So we have sine of 60 degrees, and let's find out what that is. The sine of 60 degrees is there, and that's root 3 over 2. So we have root 3 over 2. The cos of 30 degrees, if we take a look at the cos of 30 degrees, so 30 degrees, cos of 30 degrees is also root 3 over 2. So this is root 3 over 2. And then we add cos 60 degrees. So the cos of 60 degrees is equal to a half, and we'll have to look at sine of 30 degrees, which is also a half. So let's see if we can remember that. We have our cos 60, so that is a half, and then our sine 30 is also a half. Let's take a look at what this ends up being. Root 3 times root 3 is 3, and 2 times 2 is 4, and then that is added to 1 times 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. Now, 3 quarters plus 1 quarter is equal to 1. Now, perhaps I should have not put this equal sign here. I should have just said that this was the right side. This was the left side. And our 
goal is comparing the final left side with the final right side. But if we can see the final right side here is one, the final left side is one. So in this particular case, the left side equals the right side. Well, it seems to suggest then that this pattern will work for the sine of one angle plus another. Now, of course, we're using specific angles. So it doesn't prove that this is true, but it does give us a suggestion that it is true. Let's take a look at the sine of this subtraction. We have sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 6. And if we think of pi over 3 as 2 pi over 6, then we can think of this subtraction and, and find out that this left side is equal to the sine of 2 pi minus pi is pi over 6. And that's going to be equal to, what is pi over 6? Well, the, the degree equivalent is 180 divided by 6, so that's 30 degrees. And the sine of 30 degrees, if we see it right here, the sine of 30 degrees is a half. Okay, well, let's take a look at the right side. The right side is equal to the sine of pi over 3, so that's sine of 60. We can see it right here is, well, the degree equivalent, sine of 60 degrees is equal to the sine of pi over 3. So that's equal to root 3 over 2. The cos of pi over 6 is cos 30, and we can see that that's the value of cos 30 there. So this is root 3 over 2. So put that in brackets. And then we have our cos pi over 3, so that's cos 60. So that's cos 60 there, so we can just copy that down. And sine of pi over 6 is the same as sine of 30 degrees. So this is 1 half. Well, let's see what this right side ends up being. We have root 3 is times root 3 is just 3. And that's over 2 times 2 is 4. And we have this subtraction. And 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. So this right side is equal to 3 quarters minus a quarter. This is equal to a half. Then we can notice that this final right side is equal to this final left side. So it seems to suggest, the left side equals the right side, it seems to suggest that this pattern will work for the sign of this subtraction of two angles. Well, let's take a look at the next one and see, well, cos of 30 degrees plus cos 60. Well, this left side is equal to cos of 30 plus 60 is 90 degrees. We don't have this here, so we'll have to look that up. Let's see what that is. Uh, cos of 90, hmm. we'll have to come back to that. So cos of, take a look at the right side. The right side is equal to cos 30, which we uh, already know is root 3 over 2. The cos of 60, right there, is 1 half. And this is subtraction. The sine of 30 degrees, we can see is 1 half. And the sine of 60 degrees, is root 3 over 2. We had already looked those values up, and let's see what we get here. We have root 3 times 1, so this is root 3 over 4, and then minus 1 times root 3 is root 3, and 2 times 2 is 4, and root 3 over 4 minus root 3 over 4, this is equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to just get rid of this here and show you that the cos of 90 degrees, 90 degrees, the cos 90 degrees is equal to zero. And we can see then that the final right side is equal to the final left side. So we have left side is equal to the right side, which seems to suggest that this pattern works for the cosine of one angle plus another. Let's take a look at the next one. So we have cos of pi over 2 minus pi over 4, and we think of pi over 2 as 2 pi over 4, and we can subtract pi over 4. This is equal to pi over 4. The left side here is equal to cos of pi over 4, and this is equal to, well, what is uh, pi over 4? So we'll have to just look at the our chart here. Cos of uh, 45 degrees, which is the degree equivalent to pi over 4 in radians is root 2 over 2. So here we have root 2 over 2. Let's take a look at what the right side shows us. So cos pi over 2, which is 90 degrees equivalent. So this is going to be equal to 0. Cos of pi over 4 is 
root 2 over 2. Those are multiplied together. Then we have sine of pi over 2, which sine of 90 degrees, uh, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1, and sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So 0 times anything, 0 plus 1 times root 2, 2 over 2 is root 2 over 2. So this is equal to root 2 over 2. And we can see that the final right side is equal to the final left side. So we have left side is equal to right side, which seems to suggest that this pattern works for the cosine of one angle minus the other.